Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Night Stalker. That's right, the evil armored battle steed, another one of those awesome kind of ride on creatures from the vintage line, gets the new classics treatment. So let's go ahead and check them out. As you can see, he comes in oversized window box packaging, much like we've seen with some of the other larger creatures such as Swiftwind. It fully showcases the giant mechanical horse right there on the inside and features the same kind of grayskull motif we've seen on all of these boxes. As we rotate this around to the backside, we just have some cross cell art showing off some of the other figures in the classics line, and down below that we get a shot of the Night Stalker figure. So what do you guys say we go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at it? All right, so we've got our Night Stalker outside of the packaging, and as you can see, this is a massive toy. So let's start with the measurements here. Bring in my tape measure, and from the bottom of his foot to the top of his head, you can see he's just over nine inches. He's almost 10 inches tall. And if we go from the back of his tail all the way to the front of his nose, he is nearly 15 inches across. So this is a big, big horse and he's very nicely done. Now I will say he feels well constructed. He is hollowed out on the inside. Of course, this is so that you can fit a figure in there so he can be seated. Um, but even though it's hollow, it still has a lot of weight to it. Like I'm really impressed by just how solid and nice the overall construction feels on this particular figure. And he's got a really great deco. He's got the great robotic horse look, and you can see there's a good mixture of dark blacks and then this really cool kind of almost metallic gold that is used all over through the head. You can see it on the body there and working all the way to the back and down the legs. And then of course, all of that is highlighted by some nice deep purples seen on the tail, the gun, and on the seat there. So just overall really great and does a fantastic job of capturing the exact look of that vintage toy. Now there's some really great sculpted on details here and now they're not really like individually painted. You can see that they're all just like that solid black, but look at the legs there. You can kind of see pistons that are worked into the sculpt there. Lots of cool electronics. There's some cogs and stuff in there. Uh, just some really, really great sculpted details. Uh, very vintage feeling because of all that, because it's all not painted and just a solid in color. Uh, but I do think that's the right choice because it still feels like that vintage one felt. It's got the same kind of color combination. That's really nice. Now we do have some sculpted details on the sides here that have a little bit of extra kind of bronze color which looks really nice as well so just overall very cool looking again look look at the cool sculpt the details on the back of the seat there and then of course we got the gun there as well uh, I would have liked to see maybe some kind of metallic purples worked in you can see they kind of did it with the gun here but if we would have worked in maybe just some metallics on all of these little sculpted the details maybe even on the blacks uh, to make it stand out just a little bit more that could have been really cool but that is just a very minor little nitpick or a suggestion if you look inside here, uh, you'll notice that there is a little sticker screen. Now on things like the Wind Raider and the Battle Ram, we got fully sculpted and painted control panels. Night Stalker kind of breaks that cycle by giving us a sticker, just like we would see in the vintage line. Uh, but it's a cool little control panel. It's already attached. You can see mine's actually a little bit crooked because of that, <laughs> but not too bad. And uh, I love the little uh, view screen there that's got Castle Grayskull on it. So that's kind of fun. Very, very neat. Overall, he's a very neat nice looking piece i mean he's well painted it's very clean he's bright and vibrant and like i said the construction is very nice so let's talk articulation the vintage one was just a solid hunk of plastic he didn't move he was not articulated this guy changes that so we've got articulation seen in the tail which is ball jointed so we can roll that around move it up and down each one of the legs are jointed right up here at the uh, top of the thighs. So you can see you can move the legs forwards and backwards. We can bend the knees and we can even bend the ankles. And the ankle joints are really nice and tight. So that way you can get the feet properly positioned. And that way you can move all the legs around. You can get them posed with one leg up in the front, very similar to that vintage one. I was even able to get him positioned kind of up on his hind legs in a rearing pose and I got him to stand on his own. So that's pretty cool that you can do stuff like that as well. 
Then my favorite articulation point has got to be in the head and the neck because there is a point of articulation at every one of these creases, which allows the head, look at this, you can really move the neck all the way around. How cool is that? And then of course the head also can turn side to side, but that is really, really impressive. I love it. Killer articulation right there at the head. And then of course you can just move the guns as well. The guns in the front move up and down and the little turret in the back spins side to side just like on the vintage figure. So really cool, very nice construction. He makes for a wonderful display piece, but how is he gonna work with a driver? We gotta see that as well, right? First of all, one accessory. We gotta put this on here. He does have this cool little headpiece. Got the great headgear there. Uh, this is nicely painted because it is kind of a metallic purple up here on the front, more of a flat purple. Got the uh, kind of black spike coming off of it. This will just fit right over his head. Sits very nicely on there, holds in place really well, and then completes the overall look. So let's go ahead and bring Jitsu in here. Jitsu, the driver of Night Stalker. At least that's the way we all played in the vintage line, right? So there's an opening right up here in the front and there is space to kind of pull the legs back inside above the leg articulation in the front. So you do kind of have to get them in a bit of a seated pose, lift the legs up before you put them in. Then you're gonna have to kind of squeeze them in. It actually feels very much like the vintage toy, kind of squeezing the figure in. But there you go, you can get them in a nice seated position there. Looks really nice. Check that out. Of course, showing off the sweet Jitsu glove. And now we've got Jitsu riding in Night Stalker. So overall, really love this guy. I think he turned out fantastic. Uh, the overall sculpt is great. He feels solid. He's a really cool creature slash vehicle to add to this lineup, and I'm very happy to have him. The only thing I gotta say is I kind of wish we would have got Stridor first. Fisto really could have benefited from having his steed. It seems a little strange that they went with Night Stalker first because Stridor is kind of like the original mechanical horse. Um, and with Mattel kind of ending the line themselves, it makes you wonder if we're gonna ever get a Stridor. Fingers crossed that when Super 7 takes over this line, they'll be able to give us just a nice repaint here of Night Stalker so we've got a good Stridor for our Fisto. But otherwise, this is a really fantastic toy. So Night Stalker was part of the 2016 Club Eternia subscription, the uh, Collector's Choice line, and he was available on MattyCollector.com in September. So happy hunting, my friends. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button? Feel free to leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on one of my toy reviews. Until next time, my friends.